Hello guys, uh, Create Tutorials here with a new tutorial for you guys. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you like how to how I edit like a quad feed. Um, but basically how I edit in my style, and what I <coughs> the fix that I have in my edits and stuff like that. So. And so I have a song and a quad feed. Uh, yeah, so the song is uh, the one that I used in my um, in my episode. Uh, you're going to see it soon. So I'm going to upload it to my Chase channel uh, really soon, like. In two days or something like that, but yeah, let's get get into the tutorial. So, drag in first of all. Uh, just let me get first of all. Drag, I will drag in my clip and then the song, and then click LL at your song, and then drag it till you find what you want. So I'm just gonna listen to the song in here. So. Okay, here is the first beat. So everything that I do is just uh, take place. Just gonna watch like okay. Okay, I'm going to start about there. So I think. I'm just gonna listen to the song and everything, so I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, you wanna unhide? And there's the first beat, so you just wanna uh, put a marker there so you know there's the first beat, and then you just. Uh, there's the second beat, and you just continue doing that, cause. Um, yeah, just continue doing that basically. Uh, I'm just gonna work pretty fast now. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, last beat is right there. So okay, so this is good. And uh, there was a beat too. Uh, okay. So what we have now is shit. <laughs> okay, what we have here is uh, our song and the beat, so we know where the beat is. So let's start. So what I always does is go to layer, new uh, adjustment layer, and rename it to CC. I always do that. And then add um, a color correction to that. So what I always do is go to a shiny nice spot and put it to full and then take a look looks and just click edit. And there you go, and just choose a nice looking call correction. That's looking pretty nice. Just gonna delete uh, I did a CC pack for not that long ago, long time ago. So go and download that if you don't have, if you don't have anything. Yeah, like that I think. Maybe a little bit too dark. Okay, just, just do like that, not, not that hard. Okay, whatever. So, what we have now is this really beautiful CC. No, but whatever. I'm just gonna drop it to half. Okay. So next thing is just go to layer again, 
new adjustment layer and duplicate it let's see here two times or one time because you already have one and the bottom one you want to duplicate or uh, rename that to blur and then you just want to go to like, this part where's where's the the free 50 showing or like the plus 50 or when you get a kill or something like that and then you just want to take the rectangle tool rectangle tool is drag just above the the plus sign and the numbers and you wanna drag in lens blur <coughs> and then put it to about the iris radius put it to 12 and repeat add soft edge soft repeat edge pixels sorry about it okay and then drop down to the mass settings and put it to about 90 to 100 I'm gonna take 100 so now I have this little blur on top and it looks pretty good and the last one rename that to fix effects and here we're going to put all the effects that we're going to keyframe and everything and um, so we are going to go to the blur and sharpen tab you wanna drag in CC radial blur and then directional blur and I think that was it and then the distort menu and drag in CC tiller and split split is like basically this effect that I used that pretty nice just can drop that and the CC tiller is like this zoom out effect yeah yeah, and the directional blur is like I'm gonna show you like this effect. I'm, I'm going to show you later. So, and the radial blur is this. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing is the um, <laughs> turbulent display, and that's basically that effect. Like, bam. Yeah. I will get in and do all these effects one by one later. So, and then we can bring in uh, ve vector CC vector blur and light burst 2.5. There's a lot of effects. And then put the ray length to zero so everything is normal. 